everyone! In this video you can watch me remake the holographic flower coasters I made in video 512. This is a real challenge because we all know that the resin is not 100% controllable and it's a commission and the client really liked the colors I used for those coasters in video 512. Too. So I will use the same colors and I'm going to try to create the same effect uh, I had in uh, those coasters. So I hope you will enjoy watching my video and hopefully you will give me a thumbs up for it. So I already started with uh, a thin layer in my silicon mold and I'm using the silicon mold from molds and shapes and it's holographic I really love that effect so the holographic effect is already in the mold so you don't have to do anything it will transfer to the uh, resin and that's really great so if you're interested in their silicon molds because they have more holographic uh, silicon molds the link to their website is in the description below this video and uh, if you use my promo code JUSTPAINT5, you will get 5% discount. So that's amazing. I'm using my heat gun to remove air bubbles. And the resin that I'm using is from Craft Resin. It's a low viscosity resin. It has a working time of about 35 minutes. So... Uh, that's why I don't have to wait that long before I uh, add the flower design because of that working time of 35 minutes and you only need a thin layer to create a beautiful flower and hopefully I can re recreate the same as I did in video 512 so the first color I'm using is from Etter Art and it's a resin ink in the color Lapis Lazuli. One drop in the center. And you can see it spread. The second color is from the Ranger. And it's a, the Pearl Sublime. Four drops. Really nice green Color and I used the same colors in uh, the other video. I will uh, add a link to that video in the right corner. So what I also mentioned in my previous videos, it doesn't matter which white pigment paste you are using, which brand, because I think all brands work. It's only how much you add into the resin. Uh, if you add too much, then it will sink to the bottom and then you will get the white dots. So you only uh, have to use a little bit to create a nice flower. So the third color is also from Et Art. And this is the color Caribbean. And these colors are very vibrant. So if you are interested in the resin inks from Etter Art. Also the link to her website is in the description below this video. So we are 20 minutes later and I'm going to add the flower design. I'm starting with white, a small white circle in the center. And this white is made uh, with the Resitint Max Titanium White because also that pastes work for the uh, flower design only a little bit and a little bit of resin and then I added it into a piping bag because then you have much more control over the lines so the second color is made with one of my mica pigments the Just Paint Azure and I used a few drops of the drop in tint ocean blue in it to create a little bit of a darker shade of blue but it really sparkles again white 
And I did the same in video 512. Also circles in different in these two colors. And then I try to uh, make some petals starting with white. So to create again to create a nice flower, it's really important how much white paste you add into the resin. I will make a mixing video, then I show you up close how much I add and how long you wait before you add the flower design. And that's depending on which resin you are using. If you use a resin with a long working time, and normally that are the low viscosity resins, so the thin resin, then you need to wait much longer before you add the flower design. But I'm using a resin that has a short working time, 35 minutes, so I don't have to wait that long because the resin needs to become a little bit thicker. Because if the resin is a little bit thicker, then it will normally not sink to the bottom. But I will make a mixing video and then I'm going to show you up close how much I add. And I will show you uh, how much pigment paste, but in this case I also used a uh, mica pigment, because you can also use a mica pigment for the flower design. I will also show you that. But that's for uh, an upcoming video. So all the supplies I'm using in this video, you can find at the end of the video, but also in the description below this video. And I always add the link to the websites. So if you're curious, please check out the description. And I also want to mention that I have my own Facebook group. So if you are already use uh, my Just Plain supplies, together with other brands, that's no problem, then please share it in my Facebook group. Because I'm really curious what you create with my supplies. And I think we can learn from each other. So the link to my Facebook group is in the description below this video. So now I'm going to make some lines from the outside to the inside to create nice petals. And I really love these colors. They go very well together. And what I also want to mention that I see some artists use alcohol ink together with the white pigment paste. I also did that in the beginning, but it's really not necessary to uh, add a white alcohol ink uh, with the white pigment paste, because you can also create that nice bloom effect without the alcohol ink. So only the white pigment paste. So if you don't have white alcohol ink, you don't have to use it. You can already see that the resin is getting thicker. And hopefully I get a nice center on this side with the pearl effect of the Ranger uh, Sublime. 
Now also some lines from the inside to the outside only in the darker uh, blue color. And the last one. And you can see the mold is not totally filled. So if when this is dry, I will add a clear layer to fill the mold. I'm not going to show you that because that's not that interesting. Because otherwise I have a really thin coasters and I don't like that. As you can see, I'm going to swirl the center, and after that, I'm going to add heat to remove air bubbles, and I'm using my embossing tool for that, but also to hopefully spread the lines a little bit to create that bloom effect. And if you're interested in my mica pigments, because you can also use my mica pigments for the flower technique, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description. Below this video, they are also available in the USA and Canada by my associate Evelyn Schaefer. The link to her Etsy shop is also in the description. So we are one hour later and I wanted to show you how they look after one hour of drying. I can already see that the white has spread. It looks really pretty. I think you can't see it that well. But I think it looks already really nice. The sparkle is amazing and that's because of the mica pigment, the azure, but also the drop in tint ocean blue. And I love these colors together. There I'm trying to show you that the white has spread. But yeah, at the end of this video I'm going to show you a close-up, then you can see it much better. So we are 24 hours later. Uh, I also added a clear layer of resin. I didn't show you that. But now the coasters are yeah, the thick, thick enough. And now I can take them out of the mold. I don't have a problem with that. I never use a torch. I mention it all, almost in every video when I use a silicon mold. Because the flame of the torch is very hot. And then you have a risk that your resin will stick to the silicon. And then you can damage your mold. And that's really not uh, nice. So I'm using a black paper because then you can see the flower much better. There you can see it. I really like this side. So pretty. And you can already see the holographic effect. So that's nice. I need to work on the sides a little bit. But that's no problem. And that's the other side. With the color burst effect, holographic effect. I really love this silicon mold because I love that color burst effect. And I think both sides are pretty. They can be used on both sides. And I think they also look a little bit uh, like the coasters I made in video 512. The center is amazing. A little bit closer. There you can see the color burst effect. And that's because of the silicon mold. The holographic effect is already in the silicon mold. You don't have to do anything, only pour in it. I get a lot of questions about that. 
So I'm very pleased. So this is the end result. This is the holographic side with the color burst effect. I really love those colors together. It sparkles a lot, so that's why my camera camera has difficulty focusing. So let me know what you think of this side. I really love this side. Hopefully my client also likes the coasters. The center is amazing. I'm trying to show you that holographic effect from different angles. So all the link to the supplies I've used are below this video in the description. Also the link to the resin I've used, I've used the craft resin. There are some discount links in the description for USA, Europe and the UK. So that's great. And this is the other side. I also like this side. And you can also see the holographic effect a little bit on this side because uh, the outside of the coaster is transparent. So then you will also see the holographic on the port side. So I'm very pleased how these coasters uh, turned out. The effects are amazing. So let me know what you think in the comments below this video. Uh, uh, video. I really want to know it. And uh, maybe you have some suggestions. Again, I want to thank you all for watching. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video.